Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be following on from my auto art collection video that I posted a few days ago and um, it seemed to be fairly popular so I thought I would do another auto art um, signature series video. Now these auto art um, models seem to be my most popular videos on my channel, more popular than my um, BBR or MR collection models or um, any collection models to be um, honest which is good. Um, I like showing off my um, auto art models and answering any of your questions that you may have on them. So in this video I just wanted to point out five of my top tips about buying these older auto art signature models. Now some of these auto art models like the um, original Veyron and the CCX are nearly 10 years old. Um, these are quite old models, auto art, auto art's first ever really signature series models. So some of the things to look out for when you're buying some of these older models, especially um, the Bugattis, is um, badges and stickers. Now I've seen quite a lot of these on eBay where they're selling it and the, um, they say it's in mint condition and immaculate but it's missing the back badge and the front um, badge in the grill, um, right at the front. And People are um, being a bit hesitant in buying them with missing parts, which is fair enough, but I think over time, there's nothing really you can do on these 10 year models um, because the, um, the stickers do tend to peel up or um, start to um, come up. And I've got it on this one and on the um, Her Son as well, where right at the back, if I go this way, you can just about see the sticker starting to peel off from the um, from the back. Um, but again, um, it's not mu nothing to worry about. You can buy spare stickers and badges on eBay and on Auto Art Accessories on uh, their website. So if you find a good example of the Bugatti or the Koenigsegg. Um, still consider buying it. You might get it at a reduced price and you can buy the um, badges very cheaply and stickers very cheaply uh, as well. Um, another one of my um, tips would be um, look for any kind of paint rashes or um, paint imperfections in the models. Now this is quite rare in auto art work and um, as you can see I've owned a lot of them and they've not really had any paint issues or paint rashes. Um, one of these two um, have this one here has had a paint chip in it when I got it from new right in between the panel gaps between the bonnet and the front. Um, again there's not really much you can do about that. Um, luckily it's kind of in the um, actual panel so when you close it um, you can't see it when you open it up and it becomes visible and um, some little paint rash on the um, Honda NSX which is only visible under very very bright light on the side but again um, I've had the you know the NSX for about seven years and um, I guess it's just um, part of um, having these models for a long period of time but I think that was there um, when I bought it um, new from the from Auto Art. But over time the um, stickers on the Veyrons and the Koenigseggs have peeled off and that's inevitable um, I think especially when you've had these models for um, a few, a few um, nearly a decade. And also this happens on the Pagani Zonda models um, on that green sticker on the front bit it started just to peel off from the top if any of you guys know how to fix it or how to um, stick it back in position 
I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments um, because I know it's happened on a few other models and um, if anybody knows any tricks or tips I'll be very interested um, because I've got a problem there with the um, Vonda R. Um, also if you see these models on eBay and they haven't got the certificate of authenticity I wouldn't buy it. Um, I think the models are more collectible, more valuable if you keep um, the original certificates and boxes um, all mint condition, all fresh condition. Um, I think in general collectors like to have the um, model matching the certificate um, and um, likes to display it with the certificates as well. So paperwork, certificates, um, anything that auto art um, comes with um, the model, you guys, um, I would recommend to keep it all in the best condition as possible, just in case um, you want to sell it on. I think you'll get a better price if you have it all um, as you bought it from auto art. Also, I've noticed on eBay when people are selling um, Veyrons especially on the um, top air scoop there they all to what have these um, grills um, they're black grills so you might not be able to see it but on this one you see the silver grills I've seen lots of Bugatti models on eBay missing these top grills um, again and they don't mention it in the description obviously um, but be careful because auto art do have a lot of detail on these models so you might not be aware of it um, I would check the model ask for pictures ask for videos on certain bits and just to make sure that you're getting um, the model as it is listed if it's listed new you should get it new and I'm just saying also I do have grills at the top um, which you should look out for when you're buying um, these Veyron models and also in the grills in the NSX um, and the Lexus and all of them really you should check if they're all in there because they quite easily can pop out and you wouldn't notice if you're looking at the pictures on um, eBay or um, another um, place to buy second-hand um, model cars um, but I just yeah that, that's kind of like my top five um, tips on buying older auto art models um, if you want to see my auto art and composite versus composite um, video it's on the channel please go and check it out I would recommend buying the um, signature series over the composite models like the 918 um, but um, I'll let you guys decide on that but I hope you kind of enjoyed this different video and um, I'll see you guys um, soon for the next one take care